Hello, I'm Sarah Atwood and I run Thrive Health and Wellness. I'm a kinesiologist and recently I partnered up with a yoga teacher, Nadia, to run a self-care workshop day, teaching people all the benefits of taking time out for themselves, looking after themselves, calming the stress levels and the anxiety within us. And I've been talking to many people about it and lots of people have been asking me for some tips and techniques to do with calming anxiety. I mean, we all struggle with it. We've all suffered with it from time to time, whether it is a rational thought about worrying about something or whether it is something that is completely unfabricated. But things can get out of balance. You know, hearing a noise at night time and immediately assuming somebody's breaking in. I do that a lot. Or worrying, worrying, worrying if something's gonna work or some therapy that we're going through is gonna work or whether exams are gonna be okay or whether our parents who might be ill, if they're going to be well or if something bad's gonna happen. We could all have these thoughts um, and it's sometimes about keeping them under control, keeping them managed, keep us feeling happy, keep us feeling sane and in control. So when these feelings start to take over and when we feel the mind just going chirp, chirp, chirp the whole time, it's something called um, the, the, the chimp brain, the, the, the monkey mind that's just like going away the whole time and just taking over. And I think sometimes we can feel that we don't have control of it anymore, but we do. They're just thoughts, they're just thoughts, and we can absolutely train ourselves to switch it off, calm it down and suppress it. So when this, well I don't know if I'm good enough, I don't know if this will happen, but what if this happens? I can't do it, it won't work. When all of these kind of negative thoughts spiral and spiral and build up, that's when we need to go, stop, hang on a minute, that's the monkey part of the mind, that's the chimp going again, I want to stop that. And the monkey part, the chimp mind, is the amygdala part right at the back of the head. It's what is the old prehistoric part, often referred to as the lizard brain. And it's related to our limbic system, it's very much about our immediate re emotions, our first reactions to things, it's very emotive. And the biggest response that it uh, responds to, reacts to is fear. So we want to learn to switch that off. So while it is fantastic to start to listen to your body, to pay attention to it, to pay attention to your gut instincts, it's also really good to notice and think, hang on, when is it just my mind? When is it the chimp? And when should I silence the chimp? And I like everybody to just remember, remember, they're just thoughts. They're just thoughts. There's nobody actually up there creating these. There's no person up there kind of wheeling them all out. There's no kind of magic going on. We can control this. So a few things we can do is to stop, is to pause, and is to use something called tapping or emotional freedom technique. And this helps us pause, take a moment to think about what it is that's bothering us and talk it through. So one thing we have here is called the karate chop and we tap just lightly on the side of the hands. You can also chop them side to side, but I just like to just tap here, karate chop. And we say a sentence like, even though I'm really worried that my mum's ill right now, and I'm really worried about what's going to happen with her. I trust in the universe, if that's your thing. Or even though I know that they're really poorly right now, I know that they're being looked after, I know they're getting the medication they need, and I am confident that things will get better. Anything we can do, any kind of conversation piece to help us work it through, it could be to do with uh, a girl I saw yesterday about exams. Even though all my friends are saying that they're revising much more than me over half term, and even though I'm happy with what I'm doing, I deeply believe that I'm happy with what I do. I know that the revision I'm doing is sufficient. I know it's important to relax. Okay, I feel happy to relax. Do you see how that sentence progresses? So you take the fear, but by blocking it in with this even no and tapping, tapping here straight into the small intestine, really linked with our mind, helps that kind of mind-body balance. So that's the first part of the karate chop. The second part is the eight points of tapping all around the face. This is when we find a nice positive affirmation. Now an affirmation is a statement, it's a phrase, it's a sentence, it can be a slight conversation with ourselves, but it puts us back into positive thinking, positive thought patterns, and it helps us feel that we're back in control. So it could be uh, saying something just in terms of, you know, um, it's okay to take time to myself, it's good to take time to myself, it's good to look after myself. Uh, we can take it in all sorts of different phrases. I'll pop up loads of ideas for you later. But just to show you the technique, let's take the one of it's good to look after myself. We start up here on the crown of the head. And when you say it out loud, we just say, it's good to take time for myself. Then we come here to the top of the eyebrows, just here on top of the bone. It's good to take time for myself. 
and come out to the side of their eyes. It's good to take time for myself. And can you hear my voice changing? I'm trying to really believe it, con convince myself. It's all about having that link under the eyes, just on the bone here. It's good to take time for myself on the top of the lip. Good to take time for myself on the bottom. It's good to take time for myself. And now here, just underneath where the clavicle is, touching here, it's good to take time for myself. And on the side, under the arm, it's good to take time for myself. Now that's the same phrase going all the way through. We can take it, we can start with, it's okay to take time for myself. It's good to take time for myself. I'd like to take time for myself. I will to take time for myself. I enjoy taking time for myself. I love looking after myself. I feel good when I look after myself. And you can build it up and build it up. We can say these wonderful phrases to do with coming back to the point that even though I have all of these faults and failings, even though I have worries and concerns, I deeply and truly love and accept myself. That is a beautiful phrase to build up to, but I don't recommend just jumping straight in because it can be quite emotional. I know the first time I lay on the kinesiology table and I had to say I, I deeply and truly love myself, I burst into tears because it just didn't feel true. I felt really disappointed with myself for all sorts of things. I was really beating myself up. I didn't think I was doing a good job because I hadn't cut down enough on chocolate, which is total downfall. And I was really feeling very despondent. So just start off gently. So it could even be, you know, touching here, even though I reach for chocolate when times are hard, I know that I feel better if I put better nutrition in my body. Or even though I reach for chocolate when times are hard, I love myself and I understand I want to take care of myself better. Do you see what we're doing? We're just taking something really gentle and it brings it away from this panic, 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 real fight or flight response, calms it down. And it can be incredibly soothing. So I'll post up some ideas of some sentences and some phrases, but I really hope just a quick bit about anxiety, silence the chimp, stop it, recognize they're just thoughts, there is no man in your head, try the karate chop, talk it through, and then tap in a beautiful statement all the way around underneath the eyes. And enjoy. <laughs>